the burgers at this Los Angeles fast food restaurant are classic, but the workers may be the future. Cali Express touts itself as the world's first fully autonomous restaurant. Okay, you're gonna help me get Wally to make me a burger, is that right? From facial recognition as you order. So go ahead and put in your order. Okay. So we'll do the burger with everything and some raw onion, of course. To the robot chefs behind the counter, almost everything here is made by machines. The fries by a robot called Flippy. Flippy is using his robot arm to grab a basket. He's going to bring it over here to this freezer and we'll dispense an order of fries into it. Because a robot arm is just a robot arm, but the secret sauce here is the AI that really powers it. And for the main course, there's the burger bot, grinding the meat fresh, forming patties and grilling to order. As it spins around and as it gets to the end, it'll scoop it up and it'll dump it into this bucket. Major chains are already starting to bite into AI in automation. Wendy's experimenting with AI-powered drive throughs Welcome to Wendy's. What would you like? Salad chain Sweetgreen has salads rotating through automation. Chipotle even has robots building its burrito bowls. What would you say to people that say, listen, this is taking away jobs? Restaurants have a really hard time finding workers, and it costs them a lot to have those workers. So you want to be very thoughtful about where you put those workers, because working the fry station is a pretty undesirable job. It's dangerous. You burn your arms. Automation will likely eliminate some jobs. That may be inevitable. They didn't choose that it's 30 percent. But Brian Justy, who researches labor practices at UCLA, warns an all-robot kitchen may not be on the menu anytime soon. I think there's a kind of significant smoke and mirrors trick happening here where you get claims of full automation. Because even at what they call the world's first fully autonomous restaurant, there's Hinoveva. The robot helps me out a lot, and then I help the robot in turn. She makes these burgers whole, adding toppings and, of course, the bun, something these robots haven't quite mastered yet. All right, let's try this. Not bad. A bite into the future, whether we're ready or not. Alwyn Lopez, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.